I've done a few videos on the Risper Light from Soda Beams, but there's now a new kit on the block. The Risper Light Flexi is the same size as the original Risper Light, but it's got a lot more bands. In fact, it does all bands from 630 meters up to six meters. How does it do it? I'll talk about that a bit later on. But in the meantime, if you already own the original Risper Light, or the Risper Light Classic as I've seen it referred to, did you know that you can get 630 meters on it? Yep, that's not how it was originally, but if you download the new software into the Risper Light, then you'll get that extra band. Plus, there's some other features. Anyway, on to the Risper Light Flexi. Richard, G3CWI from Soda Beams, advises that it's available as well as, not instead of, the original Risper Light. The Risper Light Flexi and the Risper Light Classic are exactly the same size. They've got the same connections, both for antenna and your mobile phone or power connection, and they could almost be mistaken for one another. The big difference, apart from the more bands that the Whisper Light Flexi has, is that the Whisper Light Flexi doesn't have an inbuilt low pass filter on any band. That means whatever band you use, you need an external low pass filter. That contrasts with the Whisper Light Classic, where you don't need an external filter on 10 and 14 megahertz but you do on the lower frequency bands. What sort of low pass filter do you need to use? For 28 megahertz and probably 24, you can use this 30 megahertz low pass filter. Available cheaply from ham fests, they were often sold for the CB radio market. Alternatively, you could build your own, like this one for three and a half and seven megahertz. You can buy the parts separately or get a kit from Soda Beams. Another possibility, if you don't have a filter, is to use a very narrow band antenna such as a magnetic loop. That should offer sufficient attenuation away from your transmit frequency. My first test is going to be here from the beach. For the antenna, I'll use 10 metres of wire, a quarter wave or near enough on 7 megahertz. Okay, yes, I understand. You're talking about swearing it in. Exactly, yeah. Yep. So I've just pressed the button now, and that will take two minutes. It's really slow speed data. Um, it takes so two minutes to send. That wire up there. I'm, I'm transmitting through that wire, yeah. and then in a few minutes' time, we'll be able to see if the signal is being picked up. Wow. And is it encrypted? No, so if you wanted to, you could get software that's free off the web yeah, an and you, you can, but or you can just listen to other people chatting without um, who won't be encrypted. Okay. Um, so if we go to a website, it's called WhisperNet. Uh, That's from portable with 200 milliwatts. What about from home? There, I connected it to an RF power amplifier, giving approximately five watts output. And that brings us to another feature. In the software that you use to change band with the help of your mobile phone or computer, you can set its output power to be higher or lower than what the whisper light by itself can give. That can be useful if you're using either an attenuator or RF power amplifier. I've had a lot of fun with this Whisper Light Flexi. Which one should you get? For sheer versatility, the Whisper Light Flexi wins out, provided you've got enough low pass filters for the various frequencies you want to cover. 
On the other hand, if you want to be really compact and don't want to cut a lot of filters around, then you can use the Whisperlite Classic without external filters on 10 and 14 megahertz. Thanks to Richard, G3CWI from Soda Beams for the review unit. For more information, visit their website or have the URL below.